dispatches questions and answers they wanted and this is the web server this is the aem so first request in the ip addresses of the uh, published instance and uh, you can actually see uh, how the re-rate urls can be yeah. see you guys have actually come across uh, some more uh, questions and answers i actually just uh, understood the entire aem concepts and uh, interview There are three publishers it will like four six uh zero or three three uh four like that it will get divided so not every single uh, cq instance is taking all the 10 requests thereby the load is also reduced so how do you set up a dispatcher and uh, what are the different files in the dispatcher is uh, what they ask so basically dispatcher contains uh, um So dispatcher contains uh, basic files, uh, dispatcher.anv file, uh, which is uh, uh, a file which will relate it to the configurations of the entire dispatcher module. Uh, and then uh, dispatcher uh, httpd.conf file, where you will set up uh, the details related to the uh, load modules or proxy servers and everything. And then um, you will also have, see, you can, this is the, how you can set it up, right? You can get the uh, HTTPD server, you can install the server. And then uh, after installing the server, you can actually uh, go to the location of uh, the server. There is a dispatcher.any file. In the dispatcher.any file, it is, this is how it will look. Okay. You will have to enable this load module, dispatcher load module. And then after enabling it, you will have, uh, um, you know, uh, allow deny rules, or all the filter section. See, filter section is the location where you can uh, block certain requests or allow certain requests. Okay. And in dock root location is the location where the cache will be stored. Okay, and uh, renderers is the location where you can mention the IP addresses of the uh, published instance and their port so that you can add as many renderers. Okay, and that's how the uh, uh, dispatcher is set up. So, when it comes to the questions and answers of dispatcher, so what is a stat file? Stat file is a timestamp file where we can configure the invalidation timestamp at which interval it will be invalidated against the published instance. And what is stat level? Stat level is at what depth you would like to cover uh, the cache invalidation. Suppose content EN US, three levels. Content EN US home, four levels. Like uh, after home only, it will be invalidated. Uh, at the same level of EN, it will not invalidate. And uh, what is uh, a virtual host? Virtual host is like uh, you can have uh, a proxy server uh, which will be acting as a name for the IP addresses which you have provided. And then they'll ask uh, uh, how you can configure dispatcher flush agent. So in agents on author, there is a default agent where we can configure the dispatcher flush agents also in the uh, AEM. Uh, and uh, they can ask how do you uh, block particular requests? We can use... Uh, uh, filter section as I showed, allow deny paths, we can mention the URL path and they'll ask how do you write rewrite URLs and redirect conditions. So in your AM we have dispatcher load module, rewrite module and redirect module where you can configure uh, uh, rewrite URL. So I'll, I'll showcase uh, uh, how that can be done. So if you see this uh, uh, section which I'm showing uh, here. Uh, you can actually see uh, how the re-rate URLs can be. See, you need to enable this uh, load module and you can write re-rate URL like this in the um, dispatcher.any file itself. So every explanation of how the re-rate URLs will work will be there. And also, uh, you can actually have rewrite conditions also, uh, which can be written uh, like uh, how the condition can be executed for the incoming request so that it will be redirected. So these are the main interview questions and answers on dispatcher that will be covered. If you guys have actually come across uh, some more uh, questions and answers and you are stuck with what could be the answer, just please feel free to comment. And then I'll actually create uh, another video on that and then you'll be able to understand the concept and then be able to answer the interview. So that's what I would like to cover in this video and thanks for your uh, um, continuous uh, suggestions improvements and um, support and uh, i would like to cover in my next video uh, any other topic which people wants to cover and um,
please like share subscribe and then share it to your aem community i have been hearing that after uh, going through itv a lot of people who are not uh, into aem who are new to aem have actually just uh, understood the entire aem concepts and uh, interview questions and answers and they are clearing the interviews and moving from 3 lakhs packages to 12 lakhs packages uh, just uh, in 2 uh, months uh, all without actually having uh, uh, any any pennies spent anywhere so that's that's a very good uh, brilliant uh, thing which i i can hear um, running this itv so thank thank you everyone and thanks um, a lot for your support